All right. Six four six Southeast Monterey Road, halfway between US one and Canner Highway, west of Old. England. So here we are in sunny South Florida. We're close to one of the polo centers of the world. So we've got an ad for horse stuff, western wear, horse riding gear, attire, I don't know. All right, so welcome to the show, Driving Perilously, the show in which we turn on the radio and talk about what it is that we find. This is a special Christmas edition, meaning that there's a much greater chance I know the song, like this one, Jingle Bell Rock, Bobby Helms. Sleep. Beautiful chord and whatever song that was. 
family radios here and support drives. All right. Where it is. What else we got, people? What else we got? Let's wake it up. Got to go to rehearsal. I can't fall asleep. We wish you Merry Christmas, of course. Perennial favorites. Seems like it's a good song to end a Christmas concert with, isn't it? Or a caroling session. Don't You Forget About Me from The Breakfast Club. 1985, maybe. Start another one. Emotionally drains. What we got? about prostitution. <laughs> but this one is first person. First person. A prostitute saying, come sleep with me. It, <sighs> it's so surprising to hear so many good versions of this obscene song. This is Tony Bennett and Lady Gaga. But Ella does it. Many, many people do it. It's a very good song, but it's about that. And she's young. It's a young girl saying, come pay me money. So this is Elvis Presley, Blue Christmas, I would say. It's his big Christmas hit. The other one would be Santa Claus is coming to town, but the Christmas is probably bigger. First of all, because everybody and their brother does Santa Claus is coming to town. And yeah, a few people have done Blue Christmas a couple decades after Elvis. But I think he, I don't know if this version was the first version, but it's the first famous version. So I just today saw a video of Dr. Taylor Marshall. If you don't know Dr. Taylor Marshall or Mother Miriam, check them out on YouTube or you know other sites. But they both do videos on YouTube. Although she gets kicked off of YouTube, a nun gets kicked off of YouTube. Um, but they are part of the new, old, Latin Catholic movement, which is, they're both converted from other religions. He was an Episcopal priest, I think, or Anglican priest, I think, and became a Catholic, and he's a 
professor at seminary. And she is a Jew who became a Protestant who became a Catholic nun. Mother Miriam and Taylor Marshall. So they're both converts. They both have that converted zeal. They both know what they believe. They believe what they know. And I'm not Catholic. But they speak a lot of truth that other people won't say. And some of it, a lot of it, is deemed as speculation. But I feel it as, I, I hear it as truth. He's in Texas. I don't know where she is. Kansas, Texas. I don't know. But they espouse the traditional Latin Mass. When I was younger, I had absolutely no patience with the Latin Mass. I thought as someone who went to three masses in his whole life but went to Baptist churches all the time I thought that it was ridiculous to have a service in a language that one did not know and I still think that <laughs> it makes more sense to listen to words that you know what they mean right? but Mother Miriam and Dr. Taylor Marshall have some really good points about the Catholic Church which I've never been a part of but I did attend for a while rather faithfully along with other Christian denominations because we had a really good singer and the music was just great which is rare right but it was great um, so yeah check out those two YouTube channels the reason I'm thinking of it now is because Dr. Taylor Marshall did a video about what he does for Advent with his children. But you can't go wrong listening to any of his videos. They're scholarly, but they're not so high up there that they're of no earthly use. So this is Frank again. We've had several Frank songs just in this episode. There's more Frank Sinatra Christmas songs in the last three decades than there were in the previous three decades. Frank's always been at the top of his game, but he wasn't represented in the Christmas scene as much as he is now. So this was about 13 minutes. It's about long enough. This episode of Driving Perilously is shown if you turn on the radio and talk about what it is that we find. Hope everybody has a good Christmas season and we will see you on the next one.